WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. From Indy Streaming News Leader, this is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Rafael Sanchez and these are your latest headlines. State lawmakers return to the State House today for the start of the new legislative session. This is called the short session because the state budget is not on the table. That happens next January. This year, education and improving Indiana's reading scores are set to be among the big issues. The Indianapolis City County Council will also meet for the first time this year. Among the topics on their table is a proposal to expand the Irvington Plaza Brookville Road Economic Development Area. Last year, the council approved a tax increment financing district, also known as a TIF, in hopes of redeveloping that area. Tax generated by the development in a fund can only be used for that same area where the money is raised. A new call to help as the Red Cross's blood supply has fallen to its lowest levels in 20 years. The non profit says in that same time period, donations have fallen by about 40%. The lack of blood leaves surgeons unable to perform operations and impacts those in need of blood transfusions. The Red Cross says that anyone who makes a donation in January will be entered to win a trip to the Super Bowl. Now let's check your forecast on this Monday morning. TK has it all. Yeah, we go through the daytime hours today just fine, but starting at 10 p.m. tonight through 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, winter weather advisory for northern locations as our next storm system arrives. Highs today will be in the upper 30s as we go into the overnight hours. And that's when just in northern locations we will have a rain snow mixture. It's all rain down to the south through the duration of most of this event, but there could be about one to two inches of snow here in northern locations. Maybe up to three inches of snow as you get far to the north, but then throughout the daytime hours tomorrow, everybody goes over to all rain as high temperatures could even approach 50 degrees in uh, some areas tomorrow. Uh, we could see about one to two inches of rainfall as well as wind gusts that are over 30 miles per hour. Uh, TK, thanks for that. To track the latest weather conditions and the stories that you need to know, please download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.